Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. Today we are going to talk about grouping in Confi UI. Well, uh, this is not essential skill, meaning it's not absolutely necessary for you to know this. And it's not going to upgrade uh, your skill of uh, making better images and videos at all, but it's going to save you from a headache with complicated workflows. For example, in here I have a bunch of different workflows and what uh, I can do when I want to activate some of them, I am going to uh, wrap everything to select a uh, part that I want to activate and I want to uh, unbypass it. And now when I uh, run uh, this workflow, this is what is going to be executed. But first thing, you see how ridiculous this looks. There is a much better way to solve this. Like this. So this is what is called groups. And now I'm going to make uh, this workflow into another group. Let me see. This workflow works uh, with SDXL and that is how I'm going to call it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to press Ctrl G and now all of this is grouped. So now what I'm uh, going to do now, I'm going to rename this group into SDXL image and in order for this to look even better I'm going to change color into something as pink. Uh, what I can do more in here I can fit group to nodes but in here it's already fit as much as possible so I'm just going to uh, replace some of these uh, nodes. This can be done much better but doesn't matter for now. Now I'm going to uh, right click on the group and fit group to nodes and size of this uh, group uh, window is uh, reduced. And now another matter, uh, you can create subgroups. For example, uh, I want uh, to have these three elements grouped. I'm going to select it and I'm going to press Ctrl G. And now I'm going to rename this into sampling. Now I have subgroup within bigger group. So this is definitely the much better way uh, for you to organize your workflow. And now we are getting to final subject for this episode and that is switching. Uh, why switching is important? For example, you could have multiple workflows uh, in single document, but you don't want all of those workflows uh, to be active all at once. And for that, uh, we are going to click on uh, manager, go to uh, custom nodes in workflow, uh, select all from filter and search for group, no, not group D, groups. And this is package that you need to install, Confi, Una, uh, Confi UI, Erguzi Keogan and uh, I'm going to use only one node from this group and that is node universal switch. Now what is important? In here you want to put name of this group and select uh, state uh, that uh, this group is uh, in now. And now go right click and go to this last option, setup. And in here you want to uh, set the same name as a group uh, that you want to deal with. So in here I'm going to uh, type uh, SDXL image. And now when that name is in, uh, you want uh, to uh, check what you actually want uh, this switch to do. I want to bypass this entire group and I'm going to click on close. So now when I uh, press this switch, state of uh, all of elements in my group is going to be changed. So this is easy way to uh, bypass uh, entire workflow. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.